Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode 22 and 23 of March, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see what the messages are for you, okay? If you have questions about getting a personal reading, you know what to do. Check that description box. Everything you need is, need is there. What you see is what you get. So let's see what the messages are for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What are the messages? Okay. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups, and then we have the Moon card. Okay, under the deck, we do have the Page of Wands, so good news, a message, a post. Now, the Page of Wands is usually a post to me, a post online, a post on Facebook, social media. Let's move these down a little bit. But it, look, it looks like you are juggling with the idea of telling someone something or revealing a secret to someone. Now, it doesn't have to be something huge. It's just, it's just telling someone something that they, that they don't already know about yourself. Okay, but it looks like you are holding off. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting you're not, you have no interest in something, but you're trying to figure out how to tell someone else that. Okay, I'm getting to you have no interest in online endeavors or an online relationship, somebody that you're communicating with online. This could be a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, but I'm getting you're your, your multitasking here. So I'm getting you have no time for this person. Okay, so let's see. What is the moon card? Okay, we put two. You have the ten of cups and you have the magician. So it looks like you're trying to secretly manifest something else. Okay, it could be an Aries or someone's trying to manifest. Someone, this person's trying to secretly manifest you. All right, what is the magician doing, please? I'm getting someone here. I'm getting you are unhappy in a situation where you're juggling or you're multitasking. I'm getting a situation is becoming too much. It could be two people, but I'm getting more so two opportunities. Okay, or trying to figure out what you want or what you want to do, where you want to go. Now, this could be this could just be you on a fourth date trying to figure out what you want to do, where you want to go, how to even deal with this person. Okay, what is the magician, please? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so it looks like this could be sex related, or yeah, I'm getting you are on a date with someone here. But I'm getting the conversation is related to sex. We do have the five of swords under the deck. Okay. So, so it looks like somebody's being a little bit malicious or petty. Okay, what is the Four of Cups energy? Okay, we have the Empress. And what is the Two of Pentacles? Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so it looks like you're trying to, yeah. It's like you're juggling, the, you're juggling with the idea if you want to be single or coupled or not. I'm getting somebody does really want to be with you with the Empress energy here in the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is my Get Back Together card. Okay, you guys have tried this once, twice, maybe three times. Now it's time for a fourth time or somebody wants to give it a fourth try or just do something again repeatedly. Okay, I'm getting somebody does treat you very well here, but somebody could be somebody could have sexual motives. Like somebody treats you very well because they want sex or they want to date you. There's something that they want or they're trying to get. This could definitely be you as well, Virgo. I do view the Empress as you as well, along with Libra and Taurus. Okay, so what is the uh, Empress energy? But it's like you don't feel like doing something, almost like you're spoiled. Okay, I'm getting someone who's spoiled here, definitely, with the uh, with the uh, Four of Cups and the Empress. Something is not making you happy. Okay, somebody's doing something. I mean, I'm getting somebody's treating you very well, but you still want more. It's not enough. Okay? Or maybe somebody believes they're treating you well, but they're actually not. You're just not impressed. Okay, I'm getting somebody is trying, though. <laughs> this person is trying to treat you well or trying to take you out. They're trying to be, uh, you know, they're trying to be a good match for you. Okay, but I'm getting you're, you're good on your own. What's the other side of the two of pentacles? I'm getting the, I'm getting the juggling is coming from because of how this person treats you. I'm getting you're trying to fight something off, though. So I'm getting you're being a little bit bratty here, a little bit hard to please, just hard to get. Yeah, so it's like you, you're trying to, you're trying to, it's like you are juggling with the idea of either being single or being with this person. It could be a Gemini or an Aries. Okay, but I'm getting, I'm getting you have been with this person before and they did treat you well. We do have the two of wands under there. A lot of decisions going on. Okay, but I'm getting you are actually dating someone right now. That, that treats you um, very well. This person's very skilled. They make you very happy. But I'm getting they are kind of boring, though, even though we do have the Nine of Wands here. Okay, I'm getting you're not impressed with them. Maybe they're too young. They're too flirtatious, too promiscuous, too sexual even. 
all right? But it's kind of like you're just sitting here ignoring this person. But I'm getting, it's more so about you ignoring their, their sexual advances. You're just sitting here really not impressed with this person. They're, they're kind of just like, you know, doing everything they can to make you look at them or to impress you. But you're, you kind of have your mind on something else. I'm getting it's on a different person, okay? I'm, I'm, you are like, I'm getting like you're just with, you're just kind of here, just kind of killing your time here because there's, there actually is somebody else you want. I'm getting you, like you love being single and now you are realizing that you don't want to date. It kind of bores you. You're just not making the connections that you want to make. Okay. But I'm do, I'm getting, you do keep all this stuff hidden. You do keep it a secret. You are trying to manifest something else. I'm getting you want that soulmate connection. But you also love being single. You love, you know, you love being by yourself. You love being single. You're doing well. Okay, you really don't need anyone right now or you don't need love right now, so you think. So I'm getting you just kind of want to be by yourself. You don't want to be bothered. But I'm, I'm getting to you do want to be treated well and spoiled. You do want to go out. You do want to have fun. But it's just like you're just not making the connections that you want to make here. What is this, what is this Nine of Wands doing? So I'm getting you are dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius, someone who's very free-spirited, very enthusiastic, exciting. I'm getting to you really excite this person, Okay. <laughs> I'm getting somebody gets excited just from looking at you, touching you, like little things excites this person. They're very aroused by you. I'm getting you're very sexy. Okay, so this but this person is very excited to see you, to be around you. It's like you do something, you just do something to them. They're like jumping off their horse. What's the nine of what is the nine of wands? Yeah, I'm getting someone is very eager to be with you or very eager to make you theirs. And you're kind of over here just like, I'm really good by myself. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, we have the six of wands. Yeah, this person loves attention. This person loves to give you attention too. I'm getting somebody, I'm getting your bored because somebody, like somebody's very affectionate, maybe too much affection. Okay, I'm getting it's a little bit unrequited here because you're sitting here kind of just like staring, you know, staring at the camera instead of at this person. Okay, but they're they're giving you a lot of attention, compliments, kissing on you, caressing you, touching you. Yeah, like somebody's very eager just to compliment you, just to be around you. I'm getting that's getting kind of old. It's, it's like somebody is like spoiling you almost too much. Okay, I'm also getting to you're gaining a following here. Uh, the Six of Wands is uh, likes, comments, and subscribes. You are gaining a following. But I'm getting whatever you're doing for work. It's, it's, it it um, involves travel. But I'm getting it's like you're, you're, you're even still you're bored with that. It's kind of like someone who has it all, but you're like, it's like you're still bored. Something's missing. What's the Four of Cups energy? I'm getting, I'm getting you get a lot of attention here and that it's kind of getting old. All right. You could be wanting an assistant or a partner. Okay. What is the, uh, four, what is the four of cups? Okay. We have the ace of wands. I'm getting you want something new. I'm also getting two. You could be wanting sex from this person or you, you want sex, you want sexual attention, but maybe not from this person or this person is really eager to have sex with you. I'm getting somebody's always trying to get in your pants with the Four of Cups because the Four of Cups is repetitive. It's doing something over and over again to the point where it kind of gets worn out. Okay, so this could this could actually be the actual act of sex. You and this person have a lot of sex and it's kind of, you know, you're getting a little bit bored. You want something new or, you, you know, maybe you want to bring someone else in. You could be like throwing that idea in the air, maybe added another person or another element. Okay, so it looks like you're trying to bring back some excitement here. Okay, or someone else is. I'm getting, I'm getting, you could be worn out, but the other person, I'm getting this other person is not. <laughs> okay, so what's the six of wands? So I'm getting, there's something going on that you're just, you're kind of just tired of. You want something new. I'm getting a new person, a new endeavor, just something new, like something that, you know, that tickles your fancy, something exciting, something exciting, something that you can be enthusiastic about. Okay, I'm getting a new job, even maybe even adding an element to your work, whatever you do for work. Okay, this could be like it's something simple as a new video or a new photo, just something new. You just want something new, a new idea. What is the Ace of Wands energy? What is the Ace of Wands? I'm getting two, it is related, to, it's, it's sex related as well. Okay, what's the Ace of Wands? Okay, yeah, we have the Knight, the Knight of Cups. So I'm getting it's this person. Okay, we have, the, uh, we have the Cherry here. So it could be a Cancerian, a Fire Mix. Yeah, somebody is trying to move forward very quickly. Someone's very eager, very excited, very aroused by you. Okay, I'm, I'm getting someone's attention is kind of getting old here. Someone is like, you know, somebody really spoils you. Somebody really enjoys, you know, making love to you. All right. 
There could be a third person here, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting you're just like juggling with the idea of being single or being with this person. I'm getting there is a connection here. There is love. Somebody is very doting on you. All right. This person is very doting, but this could also too be somebody new up here. You, you, you're getting bored. So you want to talk to someone new. You just want to flirt. You want a new friend. Okay. So this could be a new connection online, something long distance, but I'm getting it. It's going to turn into something else. I'm also getting as well for others of you. I'm getting you met somebody new online and it's kind of, it's, it's turning into like a love relationship here. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting, there's a lot of sex as well. I'm getting, it's really good. Okay, or somebody is doing other things, <laughs> okay? But I'm getting you met this person. It was kind of on again, off again. Now you guys are like, you know, full-blown relationships, having sex, going out. This person spoils you rotten, maybe too much. Okay, but there, there could definitely be a third person up here. But I'm getting it's just talking. It's just flirting. It's really nothing. Okay, what does the Knight of Cups have in his hand? Just, just to reassure you. Because if you're dealing with the Virgo, I'm getting, yeah, there could be someone new, but I'm getting that's, okay, it's, you're bored with that too, so it doesn't really matter, okay? You have someone down here that, that loves you, that dotes on you, that's very excited to be around you, that arouses you. So you could be dropping this person up here because they just bore you, okay? They're just a new person. You flirt with them. It's really nothing. It's not a big deal, okay? What does the Nine of Cups have in his hand? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so this person, whoever this person is up here, you're kind of just, you're over this. I'm getting you met somebody new and you're, you're going to, you're kind of, you know, you're, you're very smitten down here with this person. They give you a lot of attention. Okay, but I'm getting this person, this person up here, this new person that you just met, it could be an Aries. All right. I'm getting, it, it's just a struggle just even talking to this person or trying to juggle. Yeah, we have the Strength card. All right. It could be the same person though, but I'm getting also too with, with the strength card and you looking this way, I'm getting, there's no sex here. You, you, you guys are holding back on the sex part of the relationship. Okay. Maybe that's new. You're trying to hold back on sex. You guys are trying to be celibate or whatever. I'm getting, it's, it's kind of becoming a struggle. You're sexually frustrated. You want to, you know, you're ready to make love. I'm getting, so is this person. They are excited too. All right, so there's a lot going on. There's a lot of different details here. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for you, Virgo. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.